a book review on a book called Ice Monster. It has um, 500 plus 500 plus uh, pages of one book. So, like you can see how thick this is, and it has uh, it has 500 plus pages. And the author of this book is David Williams, which you can see. I'm not sure if you can see at the top, and Tony Ross. So yeah, the illustrator is Tony Ross. So the Ice Monster is a book. It's situated in London, 1899, and this is the story of a 10-year-old man, the 10-year-old orphan, and a 10,000-year-old mammoth. So this is. This has the. I'm gonna give you sharing with you some points that I loved about this book. Number one, that it has bravery. Elsie, the girl, the name of this girl, Elsie was an orphan, and she, even though she lived on the streets, she had nothing to protect herself with. And still, she had the mammoth go all the way back to Arctic and go to her home, Ma and Pa. She went to her Ma and Pa. Now, it just shows that how even she 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 just didn't like why people called her an ice monster why, why people called woolly mam the woolly mammoth an ice monster she, she to her she thought her as a friend now number two kindness so kindness is that she kindness is that when she when she felt like something was right she she could feel what was going inside her mind she could, Elsie could feel what was going inside uh, the woolly mammoth's mind. And woolly mammoth the same with Elsie. It was like the perfect pair. They were inseparable. And it just, this one shows that you, it doesn't matter how different you are as long as you have a good personality. And um, now number three uh, is that friendship. The most important one of them all. They made a very strong connection with each other. And like I told you, they can read each other's mind. Elsie all died in one in the book, but then she helped her come back. Now, if, at this first time, because she helped her live again, she helped her live again. It's such an awesome pair, and it's really good, you know. So now I'll introduce the character, and their little characteristics is that Elsie. This is how Elsie looks like. And Elsie is the homeless orphan who lives on the streets of London. Yes, right here. Okay. So number two, the one of the second uh, most important character is this. It's the ice monster, a woolly mammoth who died 10,000 years ago. Life as animal was discovered by Arctic explorers, perfectly preserved in ice. <laughs> this is how he looks like. He's in ice right now. So, yeah, it is, like I told you, it has 500 plus pages. It has an afterword at the end which tells about mammoths, woolly mammoths. And... It's very good. You just should read this. It has a lot of awesome things about it. And oh, I have one more point for you. It's the, it's like, it's all of the three points I told you in the, at the start connected. That look at the picture tells you how awesome this book looks like. The picture at the cover only it appeals you so much that what a woolly mammoth has a girl on the top. How can this happen? You see, it's very funny. It has suspense. It has a very good plot. And every time I read this, I feel like, what is this? How can this book be so good? Like, yeah, you become engrossed in it. It's like you're watching it happen right in front of your eyes. That's what a fine writer makes you feel like. Yeah. Yeah, it's... it's I can't explain it. It's awesome. Just You should read it.